the matrix I perceive as real. The matrix I perceive as real. It is real and it is real. It's real. creators welcome back to my channel if you're new watching welcome as well and in this video i'll be talking about the new moon in aquarius this is a huge huge event because as you can see here we have so many planets in aquarius we are having a stellium which is more than three planets within 30 degrees and we have one two three four five six six planets in Aquarius wow that's a lot of planets and actually we have Pluto in Capricorn at the 25th degree so technically we are having seven planets so let's find out what it is what's the meaning and what it has to do with your life okay so Aquarius new men wow it has such a strong Aquarian energy. So regardless of your rising sign, we all experience a strong Aquarian theme in February. And it actually starts from the, the end of January. And we can experience a lot of uh, surprises and uh, aha moments, Eureka moments. And as you can see, Mercury is in retrograde. So we would be pretty busy, like in the headspace, when you're when we are living in a pilot mode. So meditation especially is going to be very helpful during this period of time, February. You know, Aquarius is like lightning. Uh, there are some unpredictable elements to it and it can be genius like like cutting edge technology lightning and earthquake these are all correspondences of aquarius obviously if you're aquarius rising or if you have multiple planets in aquarius you're going to uh, find this period a life-changing time uh, even though it is not an ecliptic event. So I'm going to start with the ruling planet of Aquarius, which is Saturn. And it's in its own sign at the 6th degree. And it's actually very close to Altail, Altail, which is a fixed sign. It's represented by Eagle and it's the star of knowledge wisdom so uh, as a collective we would encounter a lot of moments that allows us to realize it's the time of awakening where we start seeing the truth we start seeing through the bullshits and recognize what it is what it is truthful for us as an individual level and on the collective level as well and there are going to be a massive change in new beginnings in regards to community and social circles. So on a collective level, there will be uh, there will be a social, political, socioeconomic movement indicating an emergence of new class, new economic class. This is the time that a new trend is being born. It will not necessarily come into fruition within the month, of course, especially when Aquarius is ruled by Saturn, a slow-moving planet. And remember, we have a great planets, Jupiter and Saturn, joined together in Aquarius last December. We still have this impact. This is a 20-year cycle, so um, there are going to be a lot of changes social reformation in a variety of context i'm recording this video in december 2020 so i'm really looking forward to it like what kind of movements are emerging if there are any babies born during this period of time who they are going to be genius for sure their full potentials are going to be activate it later in their life because again saturn delays things 
but Aquarius also represents the genius. So a lot of genius and leaders and teacher figures are coming to the planet during this period of time in February 2021. Uh, and as a collective, we would be more driven to express our individualistic qualities. Even if it's quirky or weird, because truth is emphasized than ever before. Whatever that you genuinely resonate with is going to be the key solution for whatever you're dealing with. And if, and if you want to know more about it, uh, you can pull out your own birth chart and see in which house your Aquarius is located. And also I have an extensive list of words related to each zodiac sign. Check it out in the description below if you're interested in it. And if you join as a patron, you'll be able to uh, find out how this new man in Aquarius will be reflected in your personal life depending on your own rising sign. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, Mercury is in retrograde, so we're going to evaluate a lot of stuff that has to do with our long-term vision, possibly of financial socioeconomic goals as well. And we are re-evaluating who we are related to. I mean, like making having a second thought about our friends, collaborators, the like-minded. It's also possible that some old friends are cycling back to your life. And let's see. And you know what? Venus and Jupiter are in conjunction exactly at the same degree, 12th degree of Aquarius. So this is a really great position for growing your wealth, making a fortune. And because it is new mint, you are planting the seed of financial income uh, that can be thriving with a large potential. We can allow ourselves to be overindulgent in some way, shape, or form, but make sure that your personal pleasure or hobbies are related to your authentic desire. Otherwise, you can feel uneasy and unstable. And also, communication is going to play a significant role. We can find a lot of missing information and new discovery is very possible that will potentially affect our relationship, visions, growth, belief systems, as well as structure, emotion, our career, it's everything. I know it is everything. It's because we have all, all visible planets except for Mars are in the sign of Aquarius. And there's a potential that we find it easy to get into a verbal conflict. And this could be about like internal conflicts. Your action and thinking patterns are not really aligned with each other. And the solution for this challenge is action. The more you focus on your action and target your goal you'll be able to resolve it with ease by the way one of the biggest theme of 2021 is jupiter squaring uranus so for the entire year uh, because both planets are outer planets the square aspects are going to be present throughout the year. But right now on February 11th, early February, they're getting very close in square angle. So what does that mean? <laughs> Some kind of structure, stability is being challenged because of sudden surprises unpredictable elements so this can manifest in a variety of ways so for example you can 
suddenly realize that what you used to value is not valuable anymore. You find you found a new value system that you can genuinely resonate with, and because of this change, it's going to challenge you to restructure certain patterns, habits, or work routines in your life, depending on where. Saturn is located in your birth chart. I mean, Aquarius is located in your birth chart. Uh, those corresponding area will going to be changed, and this placement is actually um, leading you to have a whole new set of thinking patterns, your relationship, and your visions, everything, your emotion, emotional value, your visions, everything. Every planet's in the Aquarius, so stay true to yourself. That is the theme of this year, 2021. You need to be real. You need to honor your truthful feelings and restructure your life in a way that aligns with your new value system. And by doing so, you will be able to. Increase your own self worth and self esteem in a significant way. So this is very beneficial because by the time by the end of this year, a lot of us will feel much more fulfilled, feeling comfortable with ourselves. Yeah, and both Taurus and Aquarius are fixed signs. So the more we focus on. The predictable elements and sustainable aspects. Again,、um, we are going to have a very lucrative result on a financial level. This will help us support our life in a steady and firm way. Yeah, I think that's about it. So I hope this is helpful, and feel free to share what is going on in your life. And this way, we can learn from each other, and stay feel connected. So, yeah, have a great day, have a great month, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy New Moon! Bye.